Scorpio, this is your full moon in Libra spread for mid-April. I'm using the Mystic Dreamer Tarot and the Oracle of Vision decks. What information can we give Scorpio? We have the Three of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, the Hermit Reversed, and the Nine of Wands. Clarify the Three of Pentacles, please. Knight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Cups, please. Double reverse. Clarify the hermit reverse, please. Magician reverse. Clarify the nine of wands, please. Tower reverse. Okay, so I see you in the three of pentacles in a situation where you are working with a partner or a group of people for a common goal. This could be a relationship or this could be in the workplace. But you have chosen to walk away from the situation. You feel like you've done all that you could and you don't really have any more to give to the situation emotionally. The Hermit Reverse says that you did not take advice from those that gave it to you. And the Nine of Wands says that you're now feeling defensive and hurt. The person who hurt you is the Knight of Pentacles. Um, this could be an earth sign. This is somebody who is uh, what they call slow and steady. They're not very quick, but they are reliable and stable. The double reverse and the tower reverse indicates that you have broken free from feeling bound to this person or situation. Um, you are feeling oppressed. You are feeling controlled, chained to this person or situation. Uh, you were feeling like you were being manipulated by them with the magician reversed. Let's see what advice there is for you. Okay, you got the chariot. This is all about moving on, moving forward in a positive direction with strength and focus. So just leave all this behind. I think that's good advice since you're walking away in the Eight of Cups anyway and leaving behind the tower. The Wheel of Fortune. This tells you that there's nothing really to be done. Um, karma will take care of this situation. It was destined to happen. Five of Cups in reverse. It's just urging you to not be disappointed anymore. Try not to focus on missing whatever the positives were. Whatever made you cling to this person or situation. Try to look at it more realistically and focus on what you didn't like about it or the person and nine of cups um, this is a wish card so I think this is just telling you that by you moving on from this situation and you know letting Jesus take the wheel so to speak <laughs> uh, letting the universe do whatever it's going to do that you're ultimately going to get your wish. You're going to be emotionally fulfilled and that this past situation would not have given you whatever it was that you were really wanting. 
Okay, let's pull an oracle card. We got the number 18. This card may represent the nurturing nature of a mother embracing her child, a teacher guiding his student, or a master training his apprentice. Each balances the desire to protect and provide direction to those under his or her care with the need to also allow room for personal growth. We can prepare them, inform them, advise them, but eventually there will come the moment when we will need to resist the impulse to reach out and instead we must let them fall. When they rise again of their own accord, we can take comfort in knowing that we taught them well. I think this is saying to you that look at this as if you were the baby or the apprentice or the student. This was a life lesson for you. And it's not that you have failed personally. It's just part of your learning and growth. And when you stand back up and you move on in the chariot, you're going to be stronger for whatever this situation has taught you and however it has changed you.